Hey folks, JD here, and today we're back up with the Wing God and uh, what I want to look at is I want to look at the forward facing camera versus the camera underneath. So we have a standard forward facing lens, no problem, but we also have a lens underneath it. Now I originally thought that was for optical flow, it still might be, but I can't see anything listed in the manual or on the box that tells me that's the case. So for now, I'm just going to think it's a standard camera, which is essentially what an optical flow lens pretty much is. So what I'm going to do, on the app you get an option to switch camera lens, so I'm going to do exactly that. And now once we've lens switched, you should be able to find that the lens works without there being any problem. Now you can record from under there. If I take a couple of photos, if I stand under there, I should be able to take a couple of photos underneath. There we go, that, without there being any problem there at all. And then likewise, once you finish with that camera, you can just flick it back around and change it back to its standard camera lens. Now you can change your zoom as well by the look of it. So you can zoom in to times 50, which obviously this is not an optical zoom, so it's not going to give you what the Mavic uh, the Mavic zoom does, and it's not going to give you what the Parrot and Affy does, but it is going to give you a little bit of a zoom in. So as you can see there, two times zoom, three times, I'm getting closer and closer, but at the same time, when you get right into to 50 times, it's very noisy, it's very grainy. This is what you expect, because it's a digital zoom, it isn't optical, so therefore you're not going to have the clarity. It doesn't, it doesn't keep the clarity there and the quality. In fact, what it does, it just makes things a lot worse. So you probably not want to use that, but I thought I would show you the feature, just as we're looking at the camera and around that today. Now, from using the camera, it's extremely easy to take a photo, and the photos work, you know, okay, they're pretty passable. You know, and a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it on your app, and you can also do it from the back camera here just by clicking it a few times. That then will take a photo, but you can't take a photo when you're recording video. So you have to stop your video, and then you can take a photo. If you want to take video again, it's using the right shoulder button. Click once, you get up a little display showing you exactly how long you've been recording video for, but please don't forget to click it again so that you can stop recording because as with a lot of quads they don't write to SD card before they turn themselves off so what you are going to find is if you do record and if you forget to turn off the recording you may lose all of your previous recording what you have been recording for that flight so that's just the, un the underneath camera and the camera which is forward facing next let's have a little look at the photos and at the video as well